put that shit away. Better tell a crew about this asshole. You got a fucking problem? You kidding me with that shit? Yo, T. Where have you been? I got here as soon as I could, bro. Oh, man, Louise Gracie. Louise Gracie. What about Gracie? They got Gracie. She's gone. Evan's dead. Hell, Gracie. Fuck Evan. Who's got Gracie? I, I don't know. So what are you talking about, bro? Where is she? I, I, some guy's at war with her father, I guess. I don't know. Hey, Gracie's pretty tough. She's a princess. She's a tough princess. Oh, they fucking hurt her. Yeah, they'll have you, me, and my family to deal with. <laughs> you never liked her. You never did. You never liked anyone. That's not true. I like her. No, you didn't. She's my favorite go -Kor. Oh, and what makes you so good, huh? If it wasn't for me, you'd be selling dime bags on the street corner. I made you. Yeah, and she and Evan made you into a junkie, OK? I mean, she's not a bad person. Okay, She's not a murdering, greedy psychopath like me. She's so hard. I don't know if you can get past the accent, OK? But she made you into a useless old queen to act out on blowing pills to notice his business is going to shit. Oh, here we go, huh? Here we fucking go, huh? Oh, I see it in your eyes. You're embarrassing me. You see me and think, oh, this is it. This is the moment to put me down. This is the moment when the apprentice takes over, huh? Oh, man. You think I'm done? You're not so fucking tough, Louise. And you're not so smart, you dumb junkie. Well, fuck. Yeah, fuck you, Louise. Oh, come on, Tony. Chill out. Oh. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. You're not the one with the problem. I am. Oh, Tony, what the fuck are you doing? No, I'm holding you back. I see that now. I see that now. You're the closest thing I've had to a son. I'm sorry, Luis. I love you. Tony. Goodbye. Tony, c c come on, man. Goodbye. I love you. Shit. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> ah. Ah. What the fuck is wrong with you, uh. you dumb prick? Huh? Get up. Get up so uh. I can kill you myself. Get up. Uh. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I, sh I just couldn't take it anymore. Uh. Come on. Get up. Uh. Get up, you old uh. bastard. Oh. Huh? Let's go find Gracie, okay? Okay. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit, Louise. Jesus Christ. The Ancelotti said I should use their chopper. It's at the heliport on top of the entrance of the booth tunnel. What do you think we're doing on this outing? We're looking for Gracie. You got any ideas where we might start doing that? It's a big city, don't? I may be semi-suicidal, but I'm not completely stupid, Luis. You ain't even semi-suicidal, T. You're just overdramatic. I wouldn't be surprised if that gun was just a movie prop. We've been in enough shit recently for me to carry something a little bit more dangerous than a prop gun. You think you'd know enough with all the shit we've been in to take the safety off a gun before you use it? Fair point. I'll get a post-it note for the next time. Disengage before a suicide attempt. Self-indulgent cry for help, you mean? Okay. I need your help, Luis. You're all I've got left. You happy now? I said it. Well done. You win, jackass. Okay, bro. Where are we looking for this girl? There's some lowlifes and dukes who might be involved. Losers even by current mob standards, which is saying something. You from dukes, ain't you? I try to forget about that. Okay. So we head over there and do what? Land on the roof and ask them where they got Gracie? We've just got to follow them, see if they take us anywhere interesting. Okay, bro. Let's hope for the best. Who knows what they could have done to that girl? She could be dead at the bottom of the West River now. Or she could be driving some son of a bitch kidnapper crazy. I wouldn't wish that nasal whining voice on the worst guy out there. Gracie's got my backing over some chump hook from Dukes. You're right. That could be the smart bet. Her old man said something interesting to me, by the way. Oh, yeah? What'd he say? That he's blaming us for this whole thing. Either we get her back, or we're dead. That's definitely interesting. How the fuck did he get that in his head? I barely know the girl. It's the diamonds, Lou. Rocco's had a word with him. Motherfucking Guido here, Joe Cabron. Shit, I just got forward a photo of Gracie from the kidnappers. The girl does not look good. Hey, who knows? Bound and gag might be the look for Guido Slust next season. Anyways, look at the bright side. At least she's alive.
me like a brick, Lopez! Shit! Lou! The place we're checking out is over in Cerveza Heights. Sounds like So, this isn't about Gracie? It's about saving our own asses? Yes, this is a purely selfish act. Are you happy now? Yeah, strangely I am. Now that I've realized I'm being blackmailed into doing this, it's become a lot clearer. Great. How are we gonna get out of this, Tom? What? All this shit piling down on top of us. How are we gonna get up? Have we got a plan? I don't know. We could play the lottery, start a little Ponzi scheme, buy some cheap diamonds and try to sell them at a profit. Oh, wait. We've tried that, and it's not going so well. Fair enough. You could marry a billionaires. That might get us out of our problems. Oh, yeah. I've already been pimped off once, D. And I nearly got killed because of it. I'm serious, Lou. Most of the girls in the city have fallen in love with you at least once. How come you can't manage to find a rich one? Because I ain't like that. I wish I had your principles, genius. At least you'll have a nice message on your gravestone. Mine will just say, here lies unpopular fag. What the fuck's gone into you? I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm stressed, all right? Aren't we all? That's the house, up there. You don't understand the idea of a hard day's work and taking instruction from so-called superiors, but we do understand if you're not happy, sue someone. I'm in my 20s. I understand hard work. Managing the apps on my iPad phone takes half the morning. A coalition of disenchanted millennial workers is doing just that. Suing. They say the demands of managers who dictate they work without naps, hours of... Suspiciously as you can when your boss only forked out for a weekend helicopter course. If he's getting wise, it's because you're a tight ass. You being anti-Semitic now? Nice. Next you'll call me a fag. Oh yeah. Play the minority card. Very clever. What's he going back to the park for? He on to us? He's just going for a drive, T. Come on, you dumb dukes, fuck! Take us to her! You yell loud enough, he might just hear you. Maybe if we concentrate hard enough, we can will him to go there. I thought you got over that spiritual shit when you stopped dating the yoga instructor. There are things that stick with you forever. Like the fact that he could get his ankles around his ears and he ate a lot of mung beans. That image is gonna stick with me. Jesus. Where are these guys from? Other than dupes, I mean. 
They're an Irish operation headed by this maniac called Gerald McCreary. He's doing time at Alderney State. Irish like those guys who robbed our bank? They could be the same ones that held me hostage. Stranger things have happened. What would they need a mob boss's daughter for when they got all the bank's money? How the fuck do I know? I guess greed is a powerful motivator. I got an idea. Great. What is it? We stop that bus car, we rig his balls to the battery. By the time he smells them cooking, we'll know exactly where Gracie's at. This is a great bit of improvisation, Lou. But I think we should just follow him. Lead the torch to professionals, people in government. He's going into the tunnel. We're fucked. He's only got two exits, T. He should come right out over by where we picked up the chopper. Or he could hijack some other car and we'll be sitting here waiting for him with our dicks in our hands. Hey, my dick's in my pants, not my hand, T. And he's staying there. Let's just wait to see if he comes out. Shit! I can't see the car! There! He's coming out of the tunnel after all! You know how they got Gracie? Something to do with that pink piece of shit car she had. They think the guy pretended he wanted to buy it. You should have got suspicious the second anyone expressed interest in that thing. Actually, wait, I can see you driving a pink car, T. Why? Because people call me gay, Tony? In that case, you probably think I've got massive sculptures of cocks in my apartment as well. Gay guys love that shit. Cliché-loving moron. There was that one marble thing. suspicious the second anyone expressed interest in that thing. Actually, wait, I can see you driving a pink car, T. Why? Because people call me gay, Tony? In that case, you probably think I've got massive sculptures of cocks in my apartment as well. Gay guys love that shit, you cliche-loving moron. There was that one marble thing you bought. That was art. Yeah, giant, veiny, penis-shaped art. At least you made a profit on it. Those were the days. Where's he going? What's he doing in the parking lot? What's he been doing driving anywhere? We give him a moment and call it in if it feels weird. Okay, okay. Why does everything feel weird to me? Because you owe money to half the city and the other half wants you dead. Paranoia is advising our situation. Look, he's there. Just lead us back to Gracie, you fucker. Sacramento. Call it in. Let's get this bird on the ground, Lou. You gonna call him? I'm texting. Look at you, bro. What? Down with the kids. You work in the business, Lou. You should know that club promoters are the first to master all new forms of communication. Always find a new way of profiting. If we pull this off, we'll profit. We'll get to keep our spinal cords. Great. I like my spinal cord, bro. It would be a fucking shame to lose it.
Okay, man. Let me know if they find Gracie. I hope for our sake they do. See you soon, partner. Sorry, bro. But you're getting jacked. Get away from me! Is everyone okay? Fuck! Why fucking me? Can I borrow the bike? Hello. Hola, burrito. Rocco, how'd you get my fucking number? I don't want to talk to you. Too bad, Mex. This line opened up just as soon as Tony took those points. You know, Rock, your guinea ass is lower down this country's ethnic food chain than mine. So don't fucking condescend me. Oh, I got Senora Sensitive here. Hey, look, I respect you, so I'm going to talk straight a second. Tony's pissed a lot of people off. You need to control him. Tony's going to calm down? as soon as you stop sending us on suicide missions. Oh, look at my position. Some serious mullah yos. You think the higher powers are gonna stop expecting envelopes from me because of the homo's midlife crisis? Doctor's notes don't cut it with these people. Be reasonable then, Rock. Chinatown? Bahama Mamas? Those fucking bombs? That's some out of control shit, man. No, Tony's some out of control shit. Think about what he has got you into. But if you think about it too long, then there might be no getting out of it. Not really, bro. Goodbye.
Oh, fucking hell! You could have killed me! Watch out! Ah, oh, shit! Yo, Mr. Bulgarian here. I don't care hey. if he does want to sell. I want to buy. How much oh. did you offer the last time? Double it. Offer 20 million, and then we see if it is not for sale. If this Banking is not hanging on my wall. Your hat will be. Okay? Think about that. You want I should pay visit to his children at their school? Not yet. I think there's always a price in this city. Oh, Louis, excuse us. We have been rude. Don't worry about it, man. I like the setup here. These guitars are all collector's items. Celebrity rock memorabilia. Okay, man, good for you. Got a nice place here, Mr. B. That is a piece of shit. I bought it for my sister. Hey, you bring me to this fucking country, and you keep me in an ugly cage. No one on TV lives in fucking Dukes. Then you come and move all my stuff into hallway and fill place with fucking guitars. Shut up, bitch. Take your pills. A friend of mine is here. Ha! You don't have any friends. You don't even have a business here. You are nothing in this My country. sister. She's still getting adjusted. We all are. So how can I help you? Fuck you, Ray. You have ruined my life. Yes! Yes! <sighs> a difficult situation. It seems I'm being investigated by the National Office of Security Enforcement. There is a particular unit that has a hard-on for me. And why? Because Mark Yashwili won't sell me the rampage. You'll get rid of them. I will own this fucking team. Hey, the problem ain't just gonna disappear over here if we kill some crooked cops. Leave that strategizing to me. If the money tells you to cut your fucking legs off, you'll do it. Because the money is better than a fucking leg. The money is making the plans. That's the American way. All right, man. Thank you. I like you. I make you rich. I make you man. Maybe I'll make you a man with one leg, but <laughs> I'll make you a rich man with one leg. There is this team tracing a cow mine. Take out the whole team. No exceptions. Okay, man, if that's what the money wants. You're a bright guy, Luis. I still like you. You made a good choice coming here. Fag man, no good. Go. Roll the bitch. Ten, 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 ten. Go to the garage of Torpa Street. Calculating route. Turn right. Here. You will need these sticky bombs for the party. Give me that advanced MD you got there as well. I ain't taking no chances with the news. Oh my God. It's good to have you with us, Louis. Yeah? Yes. It must be nice for you to get out from the under big Tony. I don't know what you're implying, bro. Tony and me are partners. I got a stake in the Enterprise. <laughs> a stake, sure. You still take orders from him, don't you? You cut up his shit. Look, it could be much more than that. Unless you enjoy working for such a man, partner, or whatever you call it. Really, bro? I don't know. When I was left to my own devices, I got locked up. At least with Tony's guidance, I ain't doing time. Perhaps, for now, perhaps. What the fuck? But do you think you're achieving everything you could? A man with your talents, in your condition, you could have anything you want. I didn't get to where I am without being able to see the worth of man. 
That's real flattering, Mr. Bulgari. But whatever it is you're offering, I'm gonna have to decline. Me and Tony's is a business relationship. He gets his kicks elsewhere, but he's been a good boss to me, and a good guy. Help me out. I'm not a fucking faggot! Whatever you say, bro. But what are you talking about? I was saying that I may be interested in investing in your potential. Potential as what? As a businessman, I'm looking for someone here in Liberty City with the correct relationship. I already got one employer. Like I said, he's been good to me. Of course, but what is he? He is a drug addict, a madman. You are useful to him, but you think that is all he wants from you. <laughs> when some new muscle-bound pretty boy comes along, he will forget about you and your precious stake in the Tony Prince Empire. Whatever, bro. Can we talk about something else? Hey, what am I doing here? You are helping me with my business. This don't seem like legitimate business to me, man. Nothing can be achieved here in Liberty City with actual pigs rooting through my affairs. For anything to happen, they must be eliminated. Okay, man. You really can't buy these people off? Sometimes a price is more effective if paid out of luck. Go down into the garage. Mark up this spot by the pillar. We will conceal ourselves. Place a bump where they will not see it. Make sure a bomb is well hidden. We shall be concealed here. Place a bomb out of sight. We will hide here. Well placed. The bomb should prove quite a surprise for our friends. These guys are all crooked, huh? Marty has this in his pocket. This new team is in charge of half the drugs running in the city. The conflict to conscience worry you. Dimmer, bro. You ain't talking much. You nervous? Fuck you.
On me! Stay vigilant! Go, go!
don't want to be here any longer than we have to be. Come on! <laughs> 